Final Cut Pro comes with either one license or infinite licenses. Man, I can't say that word. <laughs> Which one do you get? I'll show you, but it depends on your legal classification. Stick around till the end. I'll show you how to transfer your projects from one computer to another, including a step if skipped will give you that dreaded red error screen. Ugh. All right, let's take a look at Apple's about Final Cut Pro page. And I'll link to this in the description below. This is a FAQ on Final Cut Pro. And if we scroll down here to the bottom, we have this section, how many computers can I install Final Cut on? Excellent. Okay, let's take a look here. It says here for personal non-commercial use, you can install one copy of the software on each Apple branded computer that you own or control. So if you have a desktop and a laptop, and another computer at your mom's house, but you own and control those, then you can install Final Cut Pro on each of those. And in other words, it has three licenses you can use. Now, if you're commercial, if you're a business or a school, you can download, install, use, and run one copy of the software for either a single individual on each Mac computer you own or control, okay, or multiple individuals on one computer that you own or control. They include an example down here. So you have a single employee and they can use Final Cut on both their desktop and their laptop computer. Or maybe you're like at a school library, multiple students can use Final Cut Pro on one Mac computer. So you could have infinite licenses if you have one computer and an infinite number of uh, employees or students that would use that program on that one computer, one person at a time. Side note, I'm not a lawyer, so take these with a grain of salt. So how do you install this or update it on multiple computers or just the computers you own? Go into the App Store and then search for Final Cut Pro. You'll see it right here. If I click on that, it brings me to the product page. And I haven't open here because I already have it installed on my computer, but right here it will have install or it will have a little button that says update. So to install it on multiple computers, log in with your Apple ID on each of those computers and then go through the App Store and install Final Cut Pro on each computer. All right, if you have a library on one computer and you wanna transfer it to another to work on, that's really easy to do. In Final Cut Pro, go to the library browser. If you don't see it, click this button right here in the upper left-hand corner, and you'll see your libraries, your events, and your projects. Select the library, and then go over to the inspector. If you don't see the inspector, just press this button right here with the three sliders on it, or press Command-4 to open up the inspector. Click on Modify Settings, and it opens up this window here. For Media, select In Library, and for Motion Content, we'll select In Library. This is like titles and transitions that you're using. It will put them in the library. However, this will not work for third-party plugins that you've bought and installed from different developers. Leave cache at in library and backups will leave there for Final Cut backups. Now keep this in mind, to move a library, I'm gonna need an external hard drive and that hard drive cannot have Time Machine installed on it. All right, next I'll click OK. All right, now here in the inspector next to media, go ahead and click consolidate. What this does is bring all your media that you might have stored in different locations, like on different hard drives or different folders, into one place, into the library, the container that Final Cut Pro has made. I'll select my destination. I want it to stay in the library. And I want to include original media, but I don't want to include optimized or proxy media. That'll just take up extra space and I can regenerate or recreate those files later. Next, I'll press OK to consolidate. Final Cut is telling me there's no files to consolidate. That's because I usually set up my libraries to bring the media into the library when I import it. So I don't have files in different folders or hard drives. But if I did, this is when Final Cut would consolidate them all together into the library. All right, now we need to quit Final Cut Pro. Always make sure and quit Final Cut Pro before you move a library. In Finder, go to your computer and go to your hard drive, then Users, your username, and then Movies. You'll see the different Final Cut Pro libraries in here with this special symbol. It's a purple square with four stars in it. Let's say this is the library I want to copy over. I'll bring up my hard drive here, and then I'll just drag and hold down Option to copy that library here. It starts to make a copy of that library on my external hard drive. Okay, there it is on my hard drive. Now, I'll pretend like I'm on my new computer and I wanna bring this library over. So all I have to do is drag it back to my movies folder and it will copy that library to my computer. And now I can just double click on that library and it will open it in Final Cut Pro. Now I've got this library and my different events and my different projects and footage in there as well. Now, I can also just copy a project from one computer to another. But keep in mind, the project must be in a library and I can isolate just one project or I can bring over several projects at once. If the project I wanna copy is the only project in the library, then I can just copy the library. I gotta know before we move on, am I doing a good job? If so, will you give this video a thumbs up? That really helps me know if I'm doing a good job or not. I really appreciate it. All right, let's say I want to copy this project and all of the files. So I'll select the project I wanna move, go up to File, 
and select copy project to, and then I can select a library or create a new library. I'll give it a name and we'll call it copy project and media. And I'm going to save this library in the movies folder. So I'll click save. And now it's asking me what I want to include. I want to include the media, the original media, and I want to copy any media that's in an external hard drive. I want to bring it all together. So I'll click OK. And now I have that project copied to a new library in a new event. And I've got my clips that I was using in this project. I'll select the library and go over to the finder. And like before, I'll click on modify settings and I'll set everything to in library and press OK. And then I'll consolidate my media. And then after that, I'll consolidate any motion content like titles and transitions. Once that's done consolidating, I can quit Final Cut Pro and back in Finder, I can take that copy project and media library and I'll copy it to my external hard drive. And then I'll plug that into my new computer and I can open up the library on that new computer. Let's say I have all of the original media on the new computer. I don't want to take all that time to transfer it. So I can just copy the project only and no media. I'll select the project. I'll go up to file and I'll select copy project two and I'll select new library. We'll call it copy project, no media. And I'm gonna save that library in the movies folder. Now, when it asks me what I want to include, I'll say project without media. And you'll notice I can't check these anymore. And then I'll press okay. And so now if I look at my project, copy project, no media, and, and then I go to the event and I look at the project, it's just the project and it says I'm missing a file. And that's because it's not bringing the media over. I have the media on my new computer and when I transfer that project there and reconnect the missing files, this error will go away. So now I'll quit Final Cut Pro and in Finder, I can take this copy project, no media. Notice how small the file size is, 30 megabytes. That's because there's no videos in it. And I'll just copy it to my external hard drive. Now I can open up this library on the new computer and reconnect the files and start working on the project in Final Cut Pro. When you're ready to buy Final Cut Pro and dig in, you'll find yourself juggling multiple projects and working on multiple projects at a time. I put together a video and I show you 12 tricks for working on multiple projects at the same time. Check it out here.